Welcome back to Life is Strange. So Max has won the Everyday Heroes contest, so we are the, or at least one of the people of honor here, so let's go around, talk to everybody, make some contacts in the art world. Be cool, Max. Smile and don't say anything stupid. There I am, along with all the other winners. I should say artists instead. What is a hero? The Zeitgeist Gallery is proud to be a participant in the 2013 Everyday Heroes National Contest, a showcase for today's future stars of photography. The winners, chosen by prestigious teachers from art schools and programs across the nation, reveal imaginative skill and heartfelt awareness, which highlight the casual heroism of those who may never appear on the news or reality shows for unrecognized deeds to the community and beyond. Celebrating each young artist and their work is as important as their celebration of our all-too-often-invisible, everyday heroes. Look at this print. The depth of field, the colors. Look at the bulk of shape. This was definitely shot with a medium format camera using a Leica 35mm lens. You can definitely find out those details. The story of a photo if you know how to look at all the details of a picture. Oh, this is so interesting, Matthew. I didn't think you knew about us. <laughs> when I was younger, I did a lot of photography studies. Didn't I tell you I about it, I can't believe Emma? my picture is in the same room as all these great images. To do a real paying job. Anyway... It is interesting to be here, and you're lucky to be with me here. I can share <laughs> Jesus all this with you. Christ. Uh, Dad? The label says that this is a print from a disposable camera. What are you talking about? Uh, yes, of course. I was meaning a Leica disposable camera. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, and don't cut Jackass. <laughs> Whatever. It's great to read all these comments. Even the mean ones. Oh, look at all these mostly cursive -y comments that I can't read. So inspiring. Not as good as last year's show. Totally makes me want to start taking photos. The future of photography starts here. These heroes chose the path of least regret. Huh? What does that mean? That sounds like an insult, but I'm not really sure. Great example of total surveillance. I don't know what that means, either. Their 15 minutes are almost up. I think that's a shitty comment, too. Inspiring stuff. Steve. Thanks, Steve. I wish I had time to go see those murals here. Bird looks so sad. That's horrible. Look at it. It's saying, oh my god. It looks like it's crying and or melting. And there's like a partially eaten chocolate bar on the ground. That's horrible. The Zeitgeist Gallery does have a cool history in Frisco. Uh, I mean, San Francisco. Yeah, Frisco is a really old term for San Francisco. I think it's maybe kind of an insult now. I'm not quite sure. I never thought I'd get to speak to a gallery receptionist about my own work. Why, good morning. You must be Max Caulfield. Congratulations for your everyday heroes photo. The exhibition is quite impressive, especially with your entry. Oh, thank you. I need to drop some serious cash in there. Give the gift of art. Donations go straight into community arts programs. Wow, sir. A Danny Lee article. I left my art in San Francisco. Yes, I was born on a BART train. Literally. 
It's a long, amazing story that I won't repeat here. Drinks are required for that one. Here's to mom. <laughs> that might explain my obsession, my obsessive love for the Bay Area and its outpost of artists and dissidents. Despite the rampant gentrification, artists and creators thrive regardless of socioeconomic pressures, because that's what they do. Or rather, that's what t they do. There's an errant T in there for some reason. Just hanging out as its own word. Galleries such as the Zeitgeist and the Milkovich fashion have engaged with the diverse community and practiced what some patrons only preach. Could have made this easier to read if I just did this. Oh yeah, I've got to keep a lookout for any photo opportunities. Also, by the way, Max looks really cool. That coat and the little, like, dreamcatcher necklace. I like it. She totally looks like an artist. In a good way. I wonder how it is to live in a submarine like that. It must be really claustrophobic. The revolution will not be televised. I love how much cool art is going on all over the Bay Area. Unlike Arcadia Bay. Some mysteries should stay that way. Hey, wait a minute, there's a totem. I love how some totem mysteries there. should stay that way. Just reminds me of all the totems that we've seen. Or have we seen multiple totems or just one totem? We've seen at least one totem at the school at Blackwell. Holy shit, this flyer was designed just for Chloe. I wonder if I'm ready for the mosh pit. <laughs> but what would I wear? Druid Festival. How fun. Yes, Warren would definitely go ape over this show. <laughs> Kinetic clip show and lecture showing how industrial apocalyptic paranoia led to the birth of world dystopian cinema. Planet of the Apes, Blade Runner, The Hunger Games. <laughs> the price is six six dollars and sixty six cents at the door. Devilish. I heard Mark Jefferson was supposed to be here tonight. Not anymore. That was so shocking. I have one of his monographs, too. Hold on to it. His work is going to be worth serious cash. You know, the voice actor for that guy sounded like Mark Jefferson himself, strangely enough. Are you Max Caulfield? Bravo on your entry. I'm the art critic for Iris N Magazine, and we would love to include you in a piece about future trendsetters in photography. I'll send you the details this week, if that's okay. Congratulations for your piece. Thanks, Mark Jefferson. I'm pretty damn sure that's the voice actor for Mark Jefferson. That is so awkward. Other version of Mark Jefferson talking about Mark Jefferson. Not my style, but the neon is a nice representation. Oh, shit. Pretentious alert. It looks kind of cool. I mean, just a bunch of kind of strewn, like, strapped together neon lights is kind of neat looking, but they don't seem to be in any particular shape. They look kind of just random. That one is kind of silly. I would love to have this on a shelf. Someday. I like. Oh, but imagine how much 
much time it takes to make one sculpture. Am I seriously stealing her camera? Uh... <laughs> That's kind of awkward. I mean, it's a really good picture, but... You should generally ask permission before taking somebody's expensive private property. Aren't you from Blackwell Academy? I wanted to go there, but I didn't get in. They have such a cool program. I bet you're learning a lot. Let's just awkwardly walk away without responding. Like, I do not understand art. What, it's a picture of a person taking a picture of you. You're the subject in the photo. <gasps> Champagne makes me think of me and Chloe getting busted with that wine. It was cool that Principal Wells came along. He could have canceled our entries after what happened with Jefferson. That food looks so fancy. I don't even know what the heck it is, but it looks delicious. I know it's kind of simple, but... So, how are you handling your new fame as a photographer? I don't feel like a famous photographer yet. Every journey starts with the first step. I'm only a Blackwell bureaucrat, not an artist. But you've made us proud with the great response to your work so far. It's kind of surreal to be here after everything that happened at Blackwell. All the more reason to celebrate your success. Maybe I feel guilty for celebrating. Leave that to me. I... I should have been more proactive about Kate Marsh and her awful situation. Yes, you should have. She's strong, and I'm glad she made it out of that hell. I should have put my foot down with Nathan Prescott. Or put my foot in his ass. You should have shoved it right up in his ass. Just right up there, just shove it in. That's what you should have done. I did tell you that Nathan was involved. Not that I expected anyone to believe me. I'll regret that for the rest of my life, Max. The Prescotts knew how to protect their own, and Jefferson had such a great reputation. Nobody expected him to be so disturbed. I couldn't believe the police found those sick photos in his dark room. Oh, those poor girls. At least he's in jail along with Nathan for kidnapping and murder. And Sean Prescott is now under serious investigation for all his years of corruption. Money and power can only protect you for so long at Arcadia Bay. The irony is that for once, Sean Prescott actually had no clue what was going on with Jefferson. And he even brought him to Blackwell. Now if we can just figure out what's going on with the weather, maybe everything will be like it was before. Environmental science is above my pay grade, Max. But it sure would be nice to get back to Blackwell Academy the way it was before. I'm hoping this is a fresh start, Principal Wells. Like I said before, you're an adult now, Max. You can call me Ray. Oh, at least for this event. Now, if you'll excuse me, I hear the buffet calling me again. Yeah, so we still have the end of the world thing that's probably going to happen, huh? The tornado, or whatever that was. I guess I have to get used to the idea of fancy food I don't want to eat.
Oh, hey, you're the one who entered the self-portrait. Or actually, do you call it a selfie? Anyway, I was very impressed about how you subverted it to make all of your photo subjects the focus. Oh, very smart. No, I should probably actually look at my picture. I think I know the picture it is, and I saw it when it was really small, but I haven't actually, like, seen it close up. Big. We should go find it. Oh my god, that's cute. How do these galleries afford to rent here? Hmm. It's a good question. It is San Francisco. Buying space in San Francisco is extremely expensive. The cost of living in San Francisco is insane. Sorry, I don't know your name, but I saw your picture in the gallery. I wonder if I can buy these everyday heroes pictures. Uh, what? Sorry, I don't know your name, but I saw your picture in the gallery brochure, and uh, I just wanted to let you know how cool your entry was. Thank you. There it that is. It is different. Loving the retro vibe. Me too. Makes me want to go buy an instant camera. Damn, I bet that film costs a fortune. <laughs> I love that guy's voice. Hey, and there she is to save the day. Hi. You did it, Max. You're a real artist. At least, for today. Hmm. Are you okay? We lost uh, you there for a second. Your nose. I'm okay. Uh, jet lag. High altitude. Oh, you left the ringer off, idiot. Oh, come on. Please answer. What? Oh no. Chloe, where are you? I'm so fucking scared. I'm, I'm by the beach. I'm, Chloe, I'm can you hear me? Hello? Hello? Oh my god. The tornado was real. Oh, I didn't fix shit. Chloe will die. Arcadia Bay is going to be destroyed. There has to be a way to stop this. For good. Should I go back to my photo and try to try to go into the time I took the photo to try to go back? I do not understand art. I guess everybody is a photographer now. No fucking way. Chloe can't die again. I have to save her. doing the time. Yeah. My previous timeline was so perfect. I'll accept that I need to be in Arcadia Bay, not San Francisco. Max is gonna kill herself trying to change everything. I just have to make one simple change so I won't end up in San Francisco. Simple. 
Oh, I just have to ruin my photo. Yeah, I guess that would work. Sorry, San Francisco. Chloe comes first. So he doesn't end up in jail. Oh, fuck. God, no. I'm back here again? I thought I fixed everything. What did you say, Max? What? Jefferson should be in jail, not here. Jesus. It's like you're back in my class. You're still spacing out. It might be cool if you took one of your patented selfies now. The transformation between the old Max and the new Max. Anyway. Answer my question, please. Fuck you. Good answer. Good answer. Hey, your nose is bleeding. Probably gave you too big a dose. Sorry about that, Max. But considering you're about to die, a nosebleed is a first world problem. I had to let Victoria Chase go. You let her? Don't be stupid, okay? She's exactly where she deserves to be. No. Oh, as if you care. Your iris, that dilation like a shudder. The pictures you're taking of me now, too bad you pissed away your gift. You could have won the contest, but you destroyed your own beautiful photograph. What a waste. Sorry, I burned all your stuff. I got a little carried away. Fuck, he you burned my diary. Always That's why I'm still diary. here. Especially since you've developed from nerd to hero within a week. There's something weird going on with you. Whoa, did you see how crazy it is outside? Like I said, something weird. There's that fear. Oh, Max, it's an honor working with you on these final sessions. I hope these images will be appreciated for what they truly capture. The loss of youth. <laughs> At least, that's the last lecture you'll ever have to hear from me. And I promise you, no more nosebleeds. Mr. Jefferson, please, don't do this. You don't know what's happening. Shh, 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 shh. Quiet. Quiet, Max. Please, don't do this. I promise, this final do- Ooh. Okay, I think we need to go back and buy ourselves some time. I don't have any photographs, but... I can still reverse time. <laughs> At least. I promise. Um... This final dose won't hurt. Move. 
Is is there anything I can do? I don't see anything to interact with. <laughs> I have to skip this. I, I can't do anything until right now. I promise. This final dose won't hurt. I I think I have to let it happen. I promise. This final dose won't hurt. What? Dave. Hmm? Can I yell out? Ooh. Come on, David, you got this. David. No, David. Fuck. No. I've got to be able to yell out and tell him, right? Yeah, here we go. David, watch out! How? How did you know that? Okay, be better. Not, still not good enough. Jesus. Uh. David Madsen. He's out cold. Good. I always hated that fascist fuck. Everybody in Blackwell did, right, Max? Okay. Hmm? Can I really not warn him more? Rather than just saying David, what about saying like, hey, he's right around the corner, don't go around the fucking corner. You really can't change that? Anymore? That's it? Uh... Am I missing something? I feel like I'm missing something. This doesn't make any sense. What? Why wouldn't I be able to warn him more? David, watch out! How? How did you know that? Am I supposed to, like, trip? I mean, I, he's not close enough to, like, trip. I guess there's nothing else I can do. Jesus. David Madsen. He's out cold. Good. I always hated that fascist fuck. Everybody in Blackwell did, right, Max? Okay. No, I am supposed to do something. Max, rewind and help David. I tried. You need to give him a better warning. Do I need to warn him, like... I, let's just go all the way back, I guess. I don't know. I promise you. No more nosebleeds. Wait! Hold on. Can I... Can I please ask you for one last... Oh, this changes. ...request. Oh. You got me, Max. How can I deny that face? That's so weird. You're supposed to go all the way back and then that changes the dialogue and allows you to do this, but I figured you'd just give him a, give David a better warning. That's really strange. Okay, well, um he heard David coming in, right? So maybe if he plays some music, he won't be able to hear him coming in. Let's do that. Could he please at least play some music? So I can drift away? Even at the end, you're still a dreamer, Max. That's a nice trait. Now I'm a little bit crazy. Out of my mind, I'm going slightly straight to the head. It's all a little bit hazy. But I'm pretty sure I'm gonna stay screwy instead. And I'm a little bit what? Okay. No way, Jefferson. Better. Hold it! What? The head's 
Can I tell David to come in sooner? Hold it! What? Hmm. So maybe I just need to do something other no than music. Jefferson. He didn't hear him coming in, which is good, but yeah, it's still... Still not working. Let's check once again, make sure I'm not missing any hotspots. Nope. Alright, let's go. And I promise you. Hmm. One last picture. Will that do anything? Water. Is the sink in the other room? If so, that, that would actually be really good. Yeah. Go get me some water. Uh, excuse me, but my, my throat is scratchy. Can I please have some water? Of course. I don't want you to be uncomfortable. Oh, no, there's water right there. Well, the cart's closer. Maybe I could kick it or something. Maybe. It, it might be close enough to kick. I might be able to kick it into Jefferson during the fight to mess him up. I promise. This final dose won't hurt. Hmm. It's not looking good. What? Oh, okay. Wait, actually, maybe. David, watch out! How? What? Yeah, and when they fight, maybe he'll come back enough that I can... No. Do so... There we go. No gun. No balls. Jefferson, it's over. You are not going to stop me. Ah, oh, fuck. David Madsen. Of course. Well, this is what you get for playing cop. A real bullet. Okay, can we warn him again about the gun? You are not going Why to stop bottle? me. Good. Uh, Sorry, Madsen. Not good enough. It's over. You are not going to stop that bottle. Oh wait, no, 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 no. Jefferson, it's over. Grab your gun now. Got it. Oh, not quick enough. Poor David Madsen has to die over and over again. Over. You are not going to stop me. He's hiding a gun over there. Jesus. Sorry, Madsen. Is there any fucking way to stop this? Or stop me. You are not going to stop me. There we go. Oh, Lord, Max. Are you okay? Are you alright? Can you move? Yes. Thank you, David. Thank you. Don't thank me. You brought me here. Let's wrap up this son of a bitch first. He won't be going anywhere when he wakes up. Except you are going to prison forever. Or worse. Mr. Jefferson, now it's your turn to be captured in a moment. Save Chloe. He burned everything, including all of my photos. Warren! Yes! I, I can use that picture he took of us. Yes! It is gonna come in handy. Shit! No signal! Thanks, Mr. Jefferson. But you won't need this anymore. I had no... Whoops. David? Didn't mean to interrupt. 
Are you okay? Look at this place. It feels like hell. Jefferson was... was gonna kill me. Like he did to Victoria Chase. Oh, no. I always suspected that son of a bitch. You kind of suspected everybody. Yes, and this is what I get for wasting all those hours on the Prescotts. I set my sights too wide. Lack of focus. I know the feeling. I wasn't surprised when you accused Nathan of drugging Kate Marsh. I thought so too. And Max, I treated Kate like shit. I know she's a good person, but I'm not. I hope I get to tell her that soon. Me too. I think that would make her very happy. I knew Nathan Prescott was a threat. I just waited too long to neutralize him. Jefferson already did. They had some weird father-son thing going on. But Nathan killed Rachel and Jefferson had to use him as a scapegoat. That pervert was pulling all this shit right under my nose, too. I could have stopped him and Nathan if only... I wasn't so stupid. No. I told Principal Wells Nathan had a gun and I almost used it. But he didn't want to believe me. I should have been more loud. We all make decisions we regret. But I have to admit, I'm impressed by you. And Chloe. And your investigation. I had all the high-tech toys while well, you had each other. We... We are a great team. That's one of my problems. I'm not good at teamwork. Never was. Even in the service. I can't even imagine what you went through. I'm not gonna make any excuses for my behavior. I tried to be a good soldier, but... I wasn't so great. I tried to be a good father, too, but... When Joyce kicked me out... I had nothing. I'm so sorry about that. I didn't want that to happen. I should never have set up those surveillance cams. Or kept all those files. I'm going to tell Joyce I was wrong about you. She does love you. It's pretty obvious. I try not to use my service as an excuse, but... It's hard to come home after war. Most people don't know or care what it's like. Except Joyce. She gave me hope. A new life. And you saved mine. Chloe, is she... She would be proud of you. I just want to see her safe with her mother. I promised Joyce I would go see a family counselor. Uh, I'll start by apologizing to Chloe. I don't expect her to call me dad, but maybe she'll stop calling me step douche. So, where is Chloe? Hmm. Yeah, right now she's dead. I want to lie to him, because I feel like I'm going to go find Warren's photo and I'm going to go, I'm going to go back in time and I'm going to save Chloe, which is probably going to happen, sure, but I still feel like it might be the wrong thing to do, because I'm not so sure that I'm so much, like, I don't, I don't feel like there's only one reality or one timeline going on. I feel like there's a bunch of them going on all at the same time. And so even if I do go save Chloe in the other timeline by going through the photo, you know, even if I jump timelines, I feel like this timeline is still going to exist. And so if I hide the truth, even though I, the the Max that jumped timelines, won't have to see the repercussions of hiding the truth, I feel like this timeline where Chloe died is still going to exist. So that's why I feel like I should tell the truth, not for not for me, but for the Max that will be left behind in this timeline, and for the David that will be left behind in this timeline. So 
so I'm gonna tell the truth. David, uh, Chloe is is dead. This isn't happening. You can't. No, God, not Chloe. Max, are you are you sure? Are you? Yes, I. I saw her. I, I saw a Jefferson killer in the junkyard last night. He's last not night gonna murder Jefferson. When I was feeling sorry for myself in my hotel room. Is he? I promised Joyce that I would protect her and Chloe. How can I face her and explain this? I never even told Chloe that I. God damn it! Mm. You killed my wife's child, you sick fucker! And you took away my stepdaughter! David, wait! Max, I'm sorry. I'm sorry you had to see that. What a mess. What have I done? All that time I wasted with surveillance. Uh, Chloe, I'm sorry. Joyce, I failed you. My family. You didn't fail. You did your best. Max, you better get outside. You've seen enough of this room. David, thank you for saving me. Why can't I just wake up? Let this be a nightmare. I've seen so many people die this week. Now Jefferson. I feel numb. God, I really want to rewind and stop that. I wish I could keep killing you forever. Ugh. I could rewind that, couldn't I? I could. Right under my nose. <sighs> I'm gonna rewind it. Prescott's had to know about this. David's already gonna be fucked up after everything that's happened, and once he learns Chloe dies, he doesn't need to also go to jail. David? Voice. Jeff. Up. Uh. 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 Me. Uh. That's... No. We... We... Almost there. Yeah. I... Um... That's... Uh... 
I... Any... David, um... Well, she was pretty stressed out, so... Um, she went to go... Um, medicate before I ended up in here. So, she's okay. Oh, thank God. For once I'm happy, Chloe's a stoner. <laughs> David, I, I have to go outside and get some real air. And use my phone. Of course. Go on, Max. You're a brave soldier. I'm glad Chloe has a best friend like you. Go on now. You've seen enough of this room. <sighs> okay, teacher. Let's see what kind of photo evidence you shit all over this computer. You're not getting away with this, Jefferson. Oh, no. Frank isn't a bad person, no. but... He can't be in denial about the drugs he provided. All right, we need that photo. We need it quick. But cliffhanger. God damn you. Yeah, fuck Jefferson. Just please don't murder him while I'm gone, okay? I'm going to save this for the next episode, though. So I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, I'm going to go get the photo from Warren and try to go save Chloe.